In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Webflow logic to save form submissions as CMS items. Right here, I have a Webflow project called We Protect the Rainforest. In the second section, there is a list of rainforest supporters, which is basically just a list of people with their name and a support mes message, so the reason why they support the rainforest. This list is connected to the CMS, to a CMS collection called supporters, which you can see right here. Down in the third section, I have a form called become a supporter, where people can type in their name, their country and a support message. And what I want to happen is, whenever someone submits this form, a new supporter item should automatically create it within the CMS collection supporters, and the support message of that person should immediately show up here on the live website. So that's the automation we're going to build today. And as I said in the beginning, we will use Webflow logic for this. Logic is Webflow's built-in automation tool, and you can open it by pressing on this icon right here. If you can't see this icon yet, it means that you don't have access to Logic yet because it is still in beta. If that is the case for you, you can just go to the website webflow.com logic and request access. Once you've done that, you can open the Logic panel up and then you can click on Flows and then click on New Flow up at the top right. And then the automation editor opens up. By the way, the word flow uh, is basically another word for automation. So whenever we create a flow in Webflow, it means we create a new automation. The first step that I always do is I give the flow or the automation a proper name so that I can find it later. In this case, I'm going to call it create um, supporter. Next, we have to configure a trigger. So the event which starts the automation. You can just click on this trigger trigger block and select from all of the different options or all of the two options right now. And in this case, I'm going to choose the form submission because we want to run the automation whenever someone submits the supporter form. Then we have to configure this trigger. Let's also give this a nice and descriptive name. I'm going to name it uh, supporter form is submitted. Then we have to select the exact form which we want to trigger the automation. In this case, I have two forms on my website, the contact form and the become a supporter form. For this automation, I'm going to choose the become a supporter form. And now our trigger is fully configured. Next up, we have to choose an action. So an action is what happens once the automation runs. In this case, I want to create a new CMS item as the action. So I select the create CMS item action and drag it onto this plus icon. And then it is part of the automation flow. Let's also give this action a nice and descriptive name. Let's name this create CMS supporter item. Next, we have to decide in which collection we want to create this new item. In this case, I'm going to choose the supporters collection. Next up, you have to decide if you want to save the new CMS item as a draft, as a live item, or as staged for published. In this case, I'm going to go with live item because what I want to happen is that whenever someone submits the form, the supporter and the support message should immediately be visible on the live website. So that's why I choose the live item. And now it gets really interesting. Because here, in the next steps, we have to fill out the individual fields of the new CMS item. As you can see, at the top left of every field, we have this purple plus icon. And when you click this purple plus icon, it says insert variable. When you click on it, you have now access to all of the data from the previous steps. In our case, there's only one previous step, the supporter form step, and that's where we can pull data from. As you can see, we can select variables from the form fields. So for the name CMS field, I'm going to choose the form field full name. The slug of the CMS item, I usually leave that empty because when you leave it empty, Webflow will automatically generate the slug for you based on the name. Then I have to choose a country for the new CMS item. In this case, I'm also going to select a form field, in this case, the country field. And the last field of the new CMS item is the message field. And here I want to insert the value of the form field message. 
And that's it. Now our action is also fully configured and we can test the automation by clicking test flow up here on the top right. We have to fill out some sample data for the form. I'm going to just type out my name, Mike Pecha. My country is Flowland. And for the message, I'm just going to type out some random text. And the test is successful. So Webflow in the background just checked if everything is set up correctly. And then once that is the case, it shows this green uh, confirmation. So I close this and then I publish this flow by clicking on publish and click stage flow for publish. And then you have to go out of the logic window, close everything and publish your entire website. That is important because otherwise the automation, the logic flow will not work. Once you have republished your page, you can go back to the logic overview and check the status of your automation. In our case, the status is set to on, which means the, the automation is now live and running in the background. So let's switch to the live page and run a quick test. So down here, I'm going to fill out my name. My name is Mike Pecha. My country is Flowland. And my support message is, I support the rainforest. I submit the form. And now the automation has run in the background and automatically created a new CMS item inside of the CMS collection supporters using the form data that I just submitted. So when I reload this page, we should be able to see my support message. So I reload the page. You can see I support the rainforest Mike Pecha from Flowland, which means the automation worked and has automatically added my data, my form data to the CMS collection. The only problem with this logic approach is that Webflow does not support image fields in their automations, as le at least as of now. So if you want to have support for image fields and also want to have some more advanced automation functionalities, I can recommend you to watch this video right here, where I basically showed you the exact same thing, but I used a different automation tool called Make, which is a little more advanced and also has some additional features compared to Webflow logic. So definitely check that out right here. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Have a nice day.